Hi everyone. Uh, I wanted to do a very quick video which relates to a uh, conversation I had, not really an argument, but just a conversation I had uh, twice so far today. Uh, the first one I had with a girl uh, that thought my site was somehow intended to harm companies to the extent that the people's jobs would be lost. And I wanted to address this point very quickly in the same way I did before. Uh, the second person who spoke about this was in IRC, so uh, one of the members, uh, one of the long-time members of the site, of TechRights, uh, was in fact uh, referring to the fact that people might get the impression that we are antagonists and we're always uh, negative and always talking about the trouble uh, that we have in the, uh, in the software industry. So always talking about what's wrong and never actually, let's say, uh, you know, commending companies or advising people which companies to buy from, uh, which isn't entirely true, and I'll address this point second. Uh, so the first one um, I wanted to, 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 to speak about is the, is the assumption that if we are uh, speaking about, against a company, we are in fact targeting people. Uh, one of the things we won't be doing, and you know, and I see lots of people having the same sort of policy, is try to go after uh, people who are quite powerless and people who don't actually have power uh, over other people. Now, uh, people will say, oh, you're criticizing Bill Gates and you're criticizing uh, Larry Ellison and uh, you know, all kinds of presidents and stuff. Well, these people obviously have a lot of influence and impact on people's lives and it's reasonable for them to have and they expect to have some criticism because they do actually have a lot of impact on people's lives. Uh, if, if one criticizes these people, uh, or even personally, it is a, uh, a protest in some sense against, a, uh, against an entity which they stand up for. So it can be something like, the, like Microsoft and Oracle and even the policies which is in fact uh, provoked and invoked by their uh, control to an extent. Okay? So uh, that's one thing I was going to say. Uh, the second thing, the, the argument I made, though, is that the, if people lose their job in a company that's failing, like Microsoft, which loses market share and fires people, these people are quite likely to move into a different company and do the same work for a company that might be more ethical. So, you know, to say something like people lose their jobs, that's just the, playing along with the propaganda, we you know, with the companies, companies like to say we create jobs and our success is the success of everyone, but it's not really the case, it's all relative, you know, if every company that existed was successful, there would be no competition, and no company would be successful, because companies do become successful at the expense of other companies. When Microsoft was doing the uh, illegal tactics, uh, illegal transactions, whatever, it was doing that at the expense of Netscape and IBM, and other companies which basically had to fire people, because Microsoft was doing this to them. Uh, Microsoft was not playing by the rules, and because of that, those fired were from other companies. Okay, so uh, to say something like we we harm jobs is completely untrue. Now, the second thing uh, which was brought up in IRC is uh, positive news is to do with basically no news about a company not doing something wrong, but doing something it's supposed to be doing and people expect it to do now. Uh, in TechRights, I personally put on loads of links, daily links usually, the uh, positive news and progressions and announcements and things which basically usually come originally from PR agents and stuff like that. So they their job is to try and put a very positive brush on what the uh, client of theirs is basically doing. So uh, you don't need a watchdog. Uh, working in PR, you know, PR agencies usually don't go to the opposition and trying to demonize them. That's not what the PR is doing unless you're in lobbying business or something a bit more dodgy like that. Uh, it's more about promotion. So I'm not so interested in promoting like uh, Red Hat and IBM. I, I think they have enough of that that they pay for. Uh, they don't have enough of the uh, people. Nobody has enough of the people who will be willing to stand up against the company uh, on their own accord uh, their own uh, liability in some sense to criticize a different company and we do need to do that to highlight the dangers uh, imposed upon us by, by those companies, okay? So, uh, you know, so, so that's, that's the thing about negativism or skepticism and uh, antagonism, you know, we aren't so 
negative, but would you try to find the things which need to be addressed or need to be uh, contradicted in some ways to actually have an article? I, I, I cannot just take an article and say, oh, look at this, this is interesting, uh, and say, well, I can only add, yes, yes, the company is wonderful. It just wouldn't make any contribution. Uh, taking a piece of this information and trying to show you why it's wrong is not only more interesting, it's actually more constructive because it adds something new to the debate. It's trying to balance out a, uh, something that's usually coming out of PR agents uh, or people who are misinformed and, and trying to correct things. So that's all I have to say about the, hopefully that's all I have to say about the uh, people who come up with the explanation, you know, you do only negative things and you are only complaining about things. No, I don't, I don't complain about too many things. But the things I do have to complain about, I generally tend to use the sites that's basically appropriate to that. And I believe TechRights is intended to do that, so I'll just carry on doing so and hopefully uh, link to this video later if, if any person comes up with the same sort of accusations and I have to provide some kind of a generic response or whatever. So.